Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is why is it called omega-3? Why don't we call it omega-2 or 4? Today you'll find out the answer. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the interesting information we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. I'm sure this question has come to your mind as well. Actually, why do we call it omega-3 and you never hear omega-2 or omega-4 or even omega-5? Let me show you the reason. I have put in here already on the whiteboard the chemical structure of a fatty acid. You see, uh, I'm sure you know that every carbon atom has four bonds. And those are the red ones I have highlighted in here for you. We have double bond, one double bond here, another double bond here. Remember, if a fatty acid doesn't have any double bond in its, in its structure, we call them saturated, like butter. If a fatty acid has one double bond in its structure, we call them monounsaturated fatty acid, let's say, avocado and if a fatty acid like this one has two double bonds or more in its structure we call them polyunsaturated okay right now we know this is a chemical structure of a polyunsaturated fatty acid because it has two double bonds at least and also remember that every fatty acids in its structure they have two ends one of them in the left side the other one in the right side. On the left side, this is the one I'm going to put in a circle. In medicine, we call it carboxylic acid. And this uh, side is called alpha end. On the right side, this is a medicine, we call it methyl. And this is, we call them omega end. So, every fatty acid has two ends, alpha end, omega end. Chemists, when they are counting the number of uh, carbon atoms in the structure of a fatty acid, they go from alpha end. So chemists, they go carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But biologists, they count carbon atoms from omega end. They go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm not sure exactly why biologists and chemists, they couldn't come to a final agreement, you know, from which side we have to count uh, uh, carbon atoms. But it seems to me biologists' suggestion has been uh, basically uh, approved uh, more by the experts. So, why do we call it uh, omega-3? Here's the reason. We call it omega-3 because from the omega end, the first double bond is on carbon number three. You see, this is omega end, okay? This is carbon one, two, three. Because the first double bond is on carbon number three from omega, from omega end, that's why we call it omega three, okay? So, let's take away the double bond from here, and we keep the other one, we see, how it's gonna work. So we, we took away the double bond in here and we add hydrogen. Right now we have another double bond here. Right, if you count from the omega end, this is omega end, right? Omega end, count. Carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six. The first double bond starts on carbon number six from omega end. That's why this, this is called omega six. Now you know why we call it omega-3 and why we call it omega-6. We call it omega-3 because from the omega end, the first double bond is on carbon number 3. We make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss our weekly videos, you may subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, Stay safe, stay connected.